Education Society, Redefining Excellence. Greeting respected teachers and my fellow mates. I am Abhishek Mori, along with my group member that is Altaf Sheikh, Priyanka Kirit, Mansi Hamri of Class First Year Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department, are here to present a group project on title QR code generation using Python prepared under the guidance of Professor A. S. Karande. For starters, what is QR code? QR code are everywhere you can find them printed on packaging of latest gadgets on business card etc the quick response code are machine readable two dimensional pixelated barcode which can be used to store variety of information it was invented in year 1994 and has increased its popularity recently to know more about qr code and its structure let's move to altaf thanks abhishek Visually, what comes to mind when we see a QR code? QR code is a complex matrix of black and white squares. The anatomy of QR code is divided into seven parts. The three position detection markers located at corner accurately recognizes code at high speed. Smaller than the detection markers are the alignment markers, which stores the information and gets bigger in correspondence to stored information. The timing pattern helps to configure the data grid and helps scanner to know how large the data matrix is. Currently, there are 40 versions of QR code. The most common one are 1 to 7. The format pattern contains information about error tolerance and makes easier to scan. The data and error correction keys contains most of the data. Quiet zone improve the comprehension of QR code. Now let's talk to Priyanka, who is sharing some uses of QR code. Thank you Alta. During pandemic the touch free aspect has been made popular so QR code acts like connector between physical world and web. Technology has advanced it became easier to access any website or app resources behind QR codes. QR code also made online payments secure and safe. Even in stores they give access to different offers and sales. In New York QR codes are being used for building permits of people. QR codes are convenient to use and stores lot of data in small space. Trust me, they are even easy to create. Here's my friend Mansi will share some information about creating QR codes. Thanks Priyanka. Creating a QR code in Python is easy. We need to download the Py QR code and Py PNG module from python.org website. Py QR code module is a QR code generator which does most of the building process and Py PNG module saves the image of QR code in the PNG format while creating a QR code in python we only require the data to be encrypted you can specify all the properties of the required QR code in the pyqrcode.createas function We have created a QR code for our college website in PyDev plugin of Eclipse. Now let's move towards its execution. We need to install the Py QR code and Py PNG module in command prompt. After its successful installation, we move to eclipse where we write our code we have used the import function to access the code from py qr code and py png module then we assign a variable or string which will represent our qr code here you need to insert the data to be encrypted in the qr code then assign another variable which will generate or represent your qr code here we use the pyqrcode.create as function to save your image of qr code in the svg format use the following syntax to save the image of your qr code in the png format use the following syntax now build your project and run it your qr code will be saved in your python workspace folder 
if you open it you will be able to see the png and svg format of our qr code this is the png format of our qr code if you scan this qr code through your mobile phone you will be redirected to our college website here we conclude our group project thank you for listening to us patiently zeal education society redefining excellence